our set is kind of all over the place. That's why I like don't like being called a punk band necessarily because we we have an acoustic song, we have a very metal song, we have very different like influences. I never want to be in a box of like we're just a punk band, which they're gonna call us forever. We're gonna be an all girl punk band forever, which is fucked oh. up, but. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> How did you guys form the band? Where, where, where did it come from? Whose idea was it? It was a joke. joke. <laughs> the joke went way too far and now we're... I actually believe that. <laughs> the last thing i remember you need a haircut <laughs> <laughs> and we are live What's that? from Woo! las yeah. vegas punk rock bowling danny how you doing i'm doing amazing yeah yeah a little little rough this morning a little rough yeah i've never been out so late as i was yesterday. ever never not nah, to lie i used to be out late all the time i used to be better at that yeah I Brittany, agree. how you doing? I'm great. I feel fantastic. We have four punk rock beautiful ladies here, Die Spits. We have Ava, Chloe, Ellie, and Kate. Who's who? I'm Ava. I'm Ellie. I'm Chloe. I'm Kate. I like that. We're off to a good start. <laughs> nice to meet you. We were you. rowdy before. We're going to get rowdy. <laughs> you girls are from Texas, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I can see the Texas boots really? flowing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Kicks are coming out. Um, girls, I was like, when, you know, uh, I, I knew you were coming on, I kind of like wanted to scour and, and do a bit of homework. And what I kind of noticed is you're very similar to what me and Danny were many, many, many moons ago in the early 2000s. Um, we had a, a snowboard company called Grenade Gloves, and, and uh, 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 we used to drive around in a little van. And, and, and I have this bus here. We used to drive around a 93, 94 Winnebago, and we all had mohawks. Danny grew up in New Jersey. Danny's two-time Olympic silver medalist snowboarder. Um, and uh, we used to – he grew up with Jerry only from the Misfits, and we used to collab with the Misfits back in the day. And I, I was looking at the four of you, and I thought, fuck, that's what we were 20 years ago. Yeah, that's yeah. – we looked just like you 20 years ago. <laughs> and if yeah. we could have been a punk rock band, I would have wanted to be Die Spits. Oh, thank Aww. you. How did you girls come together? You guys are, it's a new, it's a new band? Pretty was, new. Yeah, two years. Two years. Yeah. How did you all meet? Uh, babies, middle school, two years ago. We all have the same mom, but different dads. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're lying. No. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> no. Whole. Same. Our mom was busy. Yeah. Our mom wow. Was busy. And I actually didn't like know them. I, um. I, I actually saved Kate from a car crash. I threw her car into the Hudson River because it was on fire, and I pulled her out. And then we realized that we had the same mother. Yeah. Wow. You're kidding me. No. 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 This is. Insane. Why would I lie to you? I, no, no, I figured you wouldn't. I figured you wouldn't. You're all sisters. Yep. Yeah. And but we didn't know it for like a long time until and she mm -hmm. saved her from the car crash. Where in? Where, so where in Texas? Austin. Austin. Austin yeah. Mm -hmm. And all from the same city. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. It was and then like it was like you're different. you're as well. You guys are lying. <laughs> lying. No, no. I, why would we lie Don't about make me that? Do this. And they're all the same age. Think about that, yeah. Dingo. <laughs> Twins? No quadruplets. Quads. I like that. No. I'm sweating. I'm sweating too. <laughs> I was up till seven a.m. We're not lying. Chloe can't tell a lie. So. Yeah. So she's gonna be real quiet. She? Why? Because she can't lie. She can't lie. Oh, that's no. why she can't. You guys are fucking sticking me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. You guys all play different instruments, but you guys all move around on the instruments. Um, two of us do. Us two. Yeah, Eva and I move around. You move around? Yeah, I just lose an instrument. I just love my. Uh, at one point. She likes to climb things. You're the climber? Yeah, I like I to see climb. That. You're hanging upside down? Yeah. Hanging railings? You're the one looking for railings, trying to figure out where you're yeah. going to go. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you stage diving too? Uh, yeah. yeah. Is this your guys' first time here at the <laughs> punk rock bowling? Yep. First time in Vegas. First time. Wow. You guys should come out with me later. <laughs> I've been coming here for a long time. <laughs> but I would like to show you girls the real Vegas. So you cool. guys do strip clubs? I gambled. Yes. I gambled yes. away two dollars and then I stopped. Yeah, I, was I like, mean, I, lo I lost two dollars. The house always wins. It's the over. House, the house always wins. This is as much as I'm willing. 
Have you been gambling since you've been here, Danny? Um, I haven't gambled, but it was it's really cool to see like this part of Vegas. I've been to like all the big hotel thing where it's just kind of normal, but like where the festival is in like the old town mm -hmm. is a wild scene. I saw a topless nun. A topless who? Oh, topless sick. nun. Lucky. Yeah, it's like all, the, I mean, basically it's, it's Sin City for real on that strip. Mm -hmm. What about the pool downstairs right now? The pool's raging. There's a pool? You didn't see the pool when you came off the elevator? No, we were late. We were running up here. That's all right. You guys are we're late to everything. So long, we're supposed to be late. Yeah. We didn't think you were going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what we were going to do. Yeah, because I was at the pool. Yeah. Like, no, we, we wanted to. Climb. We had to show up and lie about how we met. But yeah. Fucking God. <laughs> I believed it for a second. I mean, we all kind of did, to be honest. Well, yeah. Brittany will believe anything. Y'all did not do your I'm research. I'm very <laughs> Brittany's from Vegas. I am. Really? Yep. Well, really? This is my town. Born and bred. Mm -hmm. We stole her from the UFC. She used to be a UFC ring girl. For real? Yeah. That's Sick. Awesome. Mm -hmm. She's That's won awards. So yeah. <laughs> I could see awards. that very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're all award winners. I'm not. Oh. Nah. I'm You're an not. award winner in my yeah, heart. Yeah, there you go. I'm not at all. Mm. How did you guys form the band? Where, where, where did it come from? Whose idea was it? It was a joke. joke. <laughs> the joke went way too far and now we're I actually believe that <laughs> getting interviewed by monster <laughs> yeah well you're part of the family now yeah you're on the squad we mm -hmm. love monster yeah. we love monster this is yeah we love monster oh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mm. love water. Into a water we love water too <laughs> it's good water yeah oh. do you know the story behind the water no tell me the story so, the Vans Warped Tour you girls have ever heard of the Vans Warped oh, Tour oh yeah yeah Sick. So we used to make canned water for the Warp Tour and we didn't sell it and we would give it to the band so they could stay hydrated. So we never sold it. And then recently in the last two years, we uh, decided to bring it back. And that's why you see the Vans Warp Tour logo on the can. And it's a throwback to what the actual, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that was the artwork from the Vans Warp Tour back in the day. That's so cool. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So we used to hydrate bands while on the road because they were living out of a van and going from town to town to town in the middle of summer. And there's a lot of towns where the water tastes terrible. Like so shit. It's very thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys living out of a van? Mm-hmm. Who yep. drives? Her. You're the driver? <laughs> it's my passion. <laughs> <laughs> Music comes second only to driving the van. Her name's yeah. Lil Susie. She's a 2010 just a 14 year old girl like the rest of us. Yeah. What, what, fuck, you know. <laughs> Do you guys have a tour manager? No. Is it just the four of you? No, we just have a companion. We have a companion. Yeah, and he's actually in the car right now yeah. watching in the it. the car? Don't worry, the, <laughs> the windows are rolled down. Yeah. Is he live? Is he, he can watch, he can chat, he can hit Britney up. <laughs> what? I don't know. Like like I'll question. jump in the chat room. We yeah. got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are the, where where'd the meaning of the band, the, the, the name come from? Um, <laughs> I don't know. A brown drunk. paper bag. <laughs> a bottle of Fireball. I love Fireball. Yeah. We used to, uh, in the tour bus, we used to, um, uh, well, it would kind of came later, right? But we would, um, we would take, we would take a, like, uh, we would uh, have an iron. We would travel because we would oh, max yeah. our Oh, yeah, shots. And we would heat up the iron and we'd pour the, We'd pour it onto the iron and drink it. Ooh. Yeah, like off of the iron to heat it up. Why? I don't know. Why? Because we were in a hotel room and we were like, what's in every hotel room? An iron. Why don't yeah. we drink off of it? And a Bible. And a Bible. Yeah, we didn't do any Bible shots. We like to do eye <laughs> shots. That's like a thing. Yeah, we used to do it with Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we took a whole new meaning to Fireball. I yeah. forgot about that. We're stupid. That is stupid. It is really <laughs> stupid. But maybe that's where Fireball came from. I think someone saw it and they were like, that's a good idea, but let's get rid of the iron. It's in every gas and station. It's it right like, when you go to pay and they've got like a little jar there. Yeah. Going, oh, okay. Yeah. One, two of these. <laughs> you guys just came from LA. You're on the road right now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what, 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 what cities are you coming from? Uh, it was San Diego and then LA. And before that, it was... Phoenix, yeah, we love Phoenix. I love Phoenix. And Phoenix then it went was hard. Albuquerque, Always. which we got, we we couldn't get a hotel room there. They didn't let us in, so 
We had to drive all night to Phoenix. Why didn't they let you in? We um, yeah, we smelled too bad. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of this I'm believing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we lie to you? I mean, that's a great question. I don't what think you guys kidding? smell bad at all. You I don't smell think you smell fresh. bad. Thank you. Thank you. We got to clean them up. We had an obligatory, ob obligatory <laughs> shower <laughs> this morning. I like that. <laughs> Our manager called us and was like, it's time. <laughs> the manager calls and tells you guys to shower. That's yeah. the main job. That's, yeah, that's Just we before heard. we went live, I had a friend check on me, so I, I get wellness checks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Stinky checks. What's been your favorite crowd out of since your tour, like so far? Phoenix? Phoenix. Phoenix. Also Denver I, was I really great. liked permanent records in LA. That yeah. was, yeah, that was, was awesome. It was really like intimate, uh -huh. but it's kind of better that way. Yeah. Less room. Right. Added. You think that like more of an intimate like theater is you'd prefer rather than like the no, festival not vibe? Necessarily. It just kind of like takes you back to like when you first started mm -hmm. and it's like smaller. And when did you I guys first, like what, when was your first performance? <laughs> would you say we together? We played at Hole in the Wall like two and a half years ago. It's like this dive bar in Austin. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was. What a great, like Austin is such a Mecca and especially like starting there because the music scene out there is incredible. So it's really like easy to be inspired by different artists. Who did you guys look up to? Do you have any bands? That There's a band there that we sound nothing like, but they're called Being Dead and I love them. Okay. And Farmer's Wife, Party Van. Y'all got any others? <laughs> yeah, there's lots of good Austin bands. Yeah. And after that first show, we were able to play like once or twice every week mm -hmm. until until we booked ourselves three times. And then we were like, yeah, <laughs> the same damn, we need a manager. <laughs> yeah, we, we got a manager after we triple booked ourselves for one night because we would all like have the email and we'd just be like, yes, we will play this. And then and we pick. were like, <laughs> which band did you like, pick? Uh, we picked two of them. We dropped one, but we did two. Remember. We're playing two times today. So I know. What time is the set today? Us. What time's the first set? 4.35. What stage? Monster. Monster. <laughs> Let's go. The best one. And then what time's the second set? 11.30. Oh, yeah. 30? Yeah. I thought it was 11. Are the sets different? Do you mix it up a little? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Scramble them. Scramble? Add a song. Take a song. Do you guys ever just riff and like play like... You know something that you're not thinking about? Like, do you have a direct set list? Um, sometimes I'll just like go off, and it's like everyone just looks at me and it's kind of like, all right, come on now. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to start the song. Sorry. You're the leader of the pack. Um, no, I'm the one who's like doesn't remember. It's my turn to start the all right. song. All right, yeah, that's good. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you guys checked out any other bands since you've been here? We saw the chats. Yes. Sick. Yeah, so good. So and fun. Snooper. We're friends with them, though. They're, yeah. they're really good. Awesome. Yeah. What other festivals you guys playing this year? Um, unannounced mm -hmm. ones. Mosswood Meltdown. Mosswood, oh, yeah. Mosswood Meltdown. Mosswood Meltdown is the next one. I'm really excited. Yeah. I love going to the Bay Area. San Francisco. San Fran. San Francisco. SF. Cool place. Brittany, hmm. can we hit the chat? We're in the chat. Let's see the chat. What do we got going on in there? sisters? That's insane. They're not sisters. They lied to me. <laughs> That's we what someone not. said in the chat. Why you think we're that sisters. we would lie? The chat is on our someone side. Someone said in the chat. Who's the oldest? Uh, <laughs> me. We don't like to discuss that. Okay. Who's the youngest then? <laughs> we don't like to discuss that. Okay. Who's the most responsible? The driver? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, when she's driving, yes. yes. No, you definitely are the most responsible. But I'm the only one without a higher education. Only driving. <laughs> <laughs> she went to driving education. school like I multiple times. <laughs> What's driving school? Um, it's like driver's ed. You have to take it like multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. not have that in Australia? I don't have a license Australian? in Australia. Yeah, but like to get a license, you have to go to driving. I have a license here. Right. Okay. I don't think I went to driving school though. I just right. went to the you just DMV. got it. You just walked in and were like, I don't remember. Hand me the keys. Australia is a tricky place. They just they give it to anybody out there. They they do. They do. <laughs> Have you guys been to Australia? Have you guys been overseas at all? No, I want to so bad. Where would you want to go? I feel like you girls would want, would want to go to like Germany or London or I feel like. I want to go to Japan. Japan? Yeah, Japan. Japan. I definitely want to go to Berlin because there's all those people saying like, come to Berlin. 
Come to Berlin. I, feel like I can't I wait for you to come in Europe. Europe. Yeah, I feel like you got like a fan base there that would work. Yeah, it would be cool. I really want to go. Has anyone been arrested? No, we're responsible young girls. Yeah. That's not punk rock. I know it's we're not. We're not punk rock. I don't know. They look oh, we got punk rock there. guys up on the screen right now. <laughs> Bro, Where's awesome. this? <laughs> Hotel Vegas? Yes. Is it? What is that? Yeah. That's, yes. That's, that's oh. Hotel Vegas. oh, yeah. This that is a lot of Vegas. fun. That's I me like and my that beer one. shirt. Yeah. Your beer shirt? Yeah, it's the only shirt I ever really wear. But my manager called me and said I wasn't allowed to wear it. You gotta change it? <laughs> yeah. What do your dog tags say? It's my grandma's. That's legit dog tags. Yeah, it's That's my grandma's. Sick. Trouble Jim Betty. We used to run dog tags all the time, Danny. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> we had a dog tag. We had a machine, and we'd go around and we would, we would just imprint and pass out dog tags. Yeah, that thing was huge. It was like a hundred pounds, and I would just stamp tags. It was pretty fun. That's cool. I, I think Danny's a little hungover. I'm a little hungover. He's usually a little... Usually a little yeah, hungover. I had a, I had a big Danny. night. These two are hard to keep up with here hey. in, in the Vegas world. Um, do you girls have any, like, favorite, like, when you first started, like, coming together as a band? What were, like, some of the your songs that you'd play before writing your own music? Or do you have any favorites? We did some covers. What were they? Um, we did Fell in Love with a Girl by the White Stripes. That was nice. fun. Yeah. There's a PJ Harvey song. Yeah. I don't know if you, uh, we've said this before, but um, we used to be like a country band when we first started. It was like really slow music, like acoustic guitars all the time. <laughs> and people would still mosh, and we were like, what the fuck is this? Like, why are they, <laughs> why are they doing that? Um, we were trying to go for like a Pixies vibe sort of thing. Yeah, but it did not work. No. We had a ballad. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And was it under the same name or yeah. a yeah. totally different identity? No. Like people would come to our shows and be like, yeah! And we'd be like, huh? <laughs> now we always had the energy though. It was always there. We were really. And then I learned how to like write and drop D. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, Game wait. changer right there. <laughs> Metal! Yeah. Metal, yeah. When did you guys like find your sound? Was it something that you had to like experiment, like you said, with country, and then you wanted to be like the Pixies, and then you like discovered it naturally, or was it something that you guys kind of like tried each and every one to whatever fit? Like, what's the process of even finding a sound, or like knowing what you want to be and how you want to sing, and like who's gonna play what part? Having a good rhythm section. Okay. Yeah. Aww. Important. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we we started the band in high school actually, but Chloe was like when she joined, like we actually became a band, and she was really good at drums, and she just like solidified everything. Do you guys have musicians in your family? Yes, my dad no. plays guitar. Your dad plays guitar. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Yeah, my dad. My dad's into music. He's also like he did like audio engineering and stuff like. Oh wow! That. Does he mix your your music? No, but I work at a speaker store that he works for. Nice. <laughs> So does Ava. Nice. <laughs> it's awesome. What was the store? Brain Audio. Brain Audio. Oh, Brain shout Audio. out. <laughs> <laughs> like feel like actually, girls would be trouble at work. It's it's the first portable speaker I ever sub with for. It's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. If y'all ever want some crazy bass. <laughs> Damn, they better give us commission for yeah, this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I have no music musicians. You don't? No. Me A lot neither. of musical enjoyers in my family, but no musicians. Mine don't yeah. even enjoy music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually <laughs> someone someone told my mom because she came to a show and was by the the merch table and they told her that they that they liked our band but their sister did it because they we were nepo babies and keith morris was our dad huh. so i i, I guess, our dad yeah Daddy. i think that we might have said that at some point but no one should believe a word we say yeah <laughs> rule one i wonder why <laughs> yeah who's designing the merch um, all of us. All of you? Mm, yeah. I like that. Yeah. What, what, what are the current designs right now? Merch is cool, right? I love merch. Every time I go to a show, I buy merch. There's a uh, one that we got right now that says, I heart my hot piss on it because I, we wrote a song called My Hot Piss. Who came up with that song? <laughs> it was my song. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I've designed some other merch before, but that one took like minutes to design and I've never been more proud. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. I wish we had some on here. Yeah, seriously. We what, could. 
What's the process of writing a song? I really, I'm like, is it going, do you, like you said, do you build the rhythm first? Do you have the lyric first? Is it kind of all at the same time? Are you each having your own section? What is that for, for you? Um, usually riff and then lyrics and then bring it to the band and they make the song. So do you make most of the lyrics about personal life? Or is it just mostly about piss? Yeah, hot okay. piss. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of nonsense. Yeah. That's personal. Very personal. It's yeah. way yeah. too personal. <laughs> Sorry. Do you guys have like um like anybody you wish to like write or produce with? Will Yip. Who? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Will Yip. He knows who he is. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> We're coming for you, Will. <laughs> He's out there. <laughs> You're He's out there somewhere. You're pointing at the boys. In Philadelphia. Well, about- why? Tell, why do you want to work with him? He seems nice. That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> he mastered our, our new singles, and he was, like, really cool. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Mm. Um, Steve Al- Alvini, though, or Alvini, he, he just passed away recently. But, he, yeah, he was definitely, like, a dream producer to work with. So, yeah, pretty cool. sad. But, yeah. Are you guys, have you guys made all your music in like you? Uh, sorry, Austin, or have you made music in LA? You been to studios in LA? We actually recorded the last three singles in our living room. Sick. Which sucked, but it's cool. It gives it the vibe. Yeah, it was like all of the amps were in my room, so like I couldn't like go in my room. Your room? <laughs> <laughs> I just, like wasn't allowed. She lives in the living room. Where'd you sleep? I slept on top of the amps most nights. Makes sense. Uh, that's rock and roll. Yeah, it was really nice, comfortable. It is. Good back support. <laughs> Who's got the most tattoos? Ava. Ava. That dude's. You got some sick ones. Thank you. This one's a chicken foot. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. What's this one? It's my dog, Vinny. Rest in peace. Oh, R.I.P. to cool Vinny. Cool little baby. There you go. Do you, do you eat chicken's feet? <laughs> no, I'm actually vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys all vegetarian? I've seen them in the store. I'm scared of them. They're good. Of chickens? Really? Chicken feet. Like her Do tattoo. Do we eat chicken feet? Do we eat chicken feet? I, think, I feel like I ate a chicken foot in Korea once. You look like you've ate a chicken foot. You look like a chicken foot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did I? Have we eat? I, I, no, I ate, I ate lamb brain. Lamb brain tastes like chicken. Yeah, scrambled lamb brains. Scrambled lamb brains. Where was that? Is that in, was it in Dubai you ate the lamb brains? I kind of want... These red boots right here. Oh, oh these? <laughs> <laughs> you guys drink oh, out of them? What? Are you guys drinking out of these? Oh, yeah. yeah, we drink out of them all the time. Like, we put, like, mouthwash in them, you know, <laughs> in the van. <coughs> I want to see the van. Okay. Do we have, can I get a picture of it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's box down screen. there. Our it's, it's your... It. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> they took my phone away at the Why'd door. they take your phone away? <laughs> Cause she's a screen angel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the van have a breakdown. Can, oh, can Never. you can you guys put the like the like names with like the instruments that we play back up? I gotta show them this. This is hilarious. Putting oh, okay. our guys to work. Come up. Yeah, you're gonna you kind of th- you you, you, threw, you throw a spanner in the works. Yeah. We'll see if that happens. Sorry. Yeah. Nobody knows who we are. It's really funny. No, they do. <laughs> they do. There we go. Oh yeah, so Ooh. so <laughs> Ava, I'm Ellie, actually Chloe. Ellie Livingston. People think I'm Ava Schrobelgen all the time. Oh, they get you confused. No, yeah, they confuse what we play. Okay, so Ava, you're a vocalist and rhythm. N- no, no? I, I, that's me. You're not. <laughs> Ellie, you're Wait. drums, guitar, and vocalist. <laughs> no, that's Sometimes. Me. Fuck. <laughs> Chloe, main drama. That's and sometimes vocalist. Right. This is true. Okay, bassist. And that's you're just, true. That's you're me. just the bassist. Yeah, I just. You look like the bassist. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the sane one in the We group. just took her out for enrichment time. She's usually not allowed outside of the van. She's not. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you're outside of the van too long? I start ripping my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys go to hairdressers? No, we cut our own hair. No, Chloe cuts our hair usually. And Kate cut my bangs recently. Your, your hair looks great. Chloe's Do you put stuff in it? Cutter. Me? Uh, yeah. Who are you looking at? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at all four of you. We can't see your eyes. <laughs> so you I use like water. 
<laughs> um, oh, no, yeah. just I'm just my bad. <laughs> what um, color are my eyes? They're really red. blue. <laughs> blue. Red. They like change from like blue to green. They're very red. My eyes change color. They go from blue to green. They look really blue. They change with the weather. Yeah. 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 They're beautiful. Yeah, they change with they the are mood. beautiful yeah, my eyes. Moods. That's cool. That's sick. I have two moods. Yeah, I my do. eyes become purple when I'm There's two choked. holes inside of me. <laughs> blue eye, green eye. <laughs> Danny, how's that beanie doing in Vegas? Well, it's pretty good. I actually... I lost my monster hat last night at the club. No. no. I, got a, I got a haircut. I'm not really that psyched. Monster on it. swag hat. It's pretty. I look, it's like, you know, when you get a haircut as a kid and you're like, oh, it's like class photo style? No. That's how I feel about life with haircuts. Just cut your own hair. I actually cut bangs a couple years ago. I had really long hair, kind of it, his, and I cut bangs, but I didn't do enough of it. Mm. You had baby bangs? So I had like, not like I just like didn't do enough hair bang, you know? Mm. What do you mean? Wait, you had bangs with your long hair? Well, it was like, I just had like a smaller amount of... Oh, like it didn't go back? Like, I yeah, why that goes yeah like I need to like enough. really go wider with it. Yeah, the wider the better. It's just like little bang. I don't know if we're supposed to be saying bang right now. This is a monster. Nice. We own bang. <laughs> <laughs> we you own, own bang? bang? Oh, yeah. never mind. Oh, oh. Bang, 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 uh, Danny's a man of many hair, <laughs> ma ma many, many hairstyles. Yeah. He'll have long hair, blonde hair, box hair. Yeah, I just, I can't find my, my look, really. I found my like, look 20 years ago and I kept it. Yeah. Yeah, I found my stick. I have a feeling that's what I'm going to be. No, I, I think you're, you've got your stick. No, I've got my stick. You've got I your think it's going to be 20 years from now. I'm still oh, like Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What about these shoes? These shoes? My aunt gave these to me. They're kind of sick. They're docks. They're dogs? Yeah. I'm a free thinker. Me. <laughs> uh, I've seen some pretty epic music videos that you girls have put together. How fun is that? To like create a video out of a thing or is it kind of like a weird process? I thought it was fun. <laughs> It's very fun. She's shaking your head like, hell no, this was horrible. Yeah, why are you shaking your head now? Oh, Who, been, been doing <laughs> Who has the final decision? Is there like a decision maker? Like there's four of you. God. 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 God, God makes the final decision. Yes. <laughs> Guys, jump in the chat. We're going to give you a, a year supply of Monster Energy. Um, there's going to be a trivia question for Diet Spitz. And it's going to be, what is the meaning of it? And the meaning is the point? The point or die horny. Die horny. I like die horny a lot. That was a mistake, though. Some German man came up and told us that. And we were like, oops. You guys have a German vibe, actually. Is that, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a great thing. I think it's a great thing. Okay. You definitely have some sort of a German vibe. Brittany yeah. thought you were German. They love like, not. <laughs> she was like, are they going to be able to speak English? or what the name meant. And there's a German like thing for horny. That's what it was. See? Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant to be that way, but it is. But see, it worked out. And it's mm -hmm. good. It did. What would you guys describe your music style to be? Girl rock. Girl rock. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to go a little deeper on that. <laughs> Just like rock for girls. It's like <laughs> girls rock, playing not rock. as good. Yeah, it's like it's like rock, but not as good. <laughs> no. Because it's a bunch of girls. There's no. really not that many old girl Group. There isn't. There really isn't. You like, yeah, and especially spice young. Girls. <laughs> spice we, we get spice called, girls are old. We get called the grunge Spice Girls, which is so sick. Mm -hmm. Who's sporty? Oh, who do we say? You? I think no, so. No, she's scary. Scary, scary. Scary, guys. sporty. Well, Obviously, Ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Posh. Baby. You're not posh. Baby. 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 You're I'm posh. I'm posh spice. Uh, we, we, there's not five of us. So oh, but we put posh to like all. Of, yeah, posh mm -hmm. is like our mother. Yeah, our manager's posh. Yeah, I bet I you guys. You guys have like pencil, like really thin, pencil-like tattoos. Yeah, it's and the other awesome ones hurt too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we had I a like question really here good. about your tattoos. Someone had asked. What is your favorite tattoo and what's the meaning of it? I just can't find the exact one. Oh, yeah, here it goes. Meaning, most meaningful tattoo or best story behind the ones you have? You guys got it? Uh, yeah, I got a, a baby 
a baby, no. <laughs> a baby smiley face from when I was like 16 that Ava did on me. Actually, it's really bad. It's really bad. I don't know. If, oh yeah, it was yeah, when it yeah. was when Texas froze over and she got caught at my house, and um, we were like 15 or 16. And we watched Adventure Time, and I tried to give it to her, and it just wouldn't work. And so it looks really bad, but it's there. <laughs> was it a real tattoo gun or like a one you made? No, no it was like a little, sewing needle. Yeah. It, looks, it looks like it's Ow. quite sick. <laughs> yeah, no, you're it's... looking at the wrong one. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I, I don't want to look any deeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't look down there. <laughs> no, it, it's, 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 it's a smiley face that's pretty really shit bad. But I like it. It's sentimental. It is sentimental. Shit tattoo is what it's all about. Yeah. I did a I did a um, a homeless uh, hot dogs for homeless tour in a bus where we drove around and, and fed homeless people hot dogs um, with uh, uh, wiener schnitzel. And we said if we raised a certain amount of money that we thought there was no way we would get there, that we, we would all get these hot dog tattoos. We hit the bar and then I had to get this tattoo. So we all have this tattoo. It's a skateboard. Oh. That's kind of sick. Whoa. Is it losing its hat? Oh, yeah, the hat's flying off. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Well, that's, that's, uh, I think, that's my stupid tattoo. I feel like sometimes, like, the worse the tattoo is, sometimes it becomes your favorite. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think so. Uh. You know? You're like, eh, I got the... I mean, Brittany, you got some shit tattoos. Yeah. I do. I have lips on my butt. That was yeah. a big mistake. Yeah, where'd you come up with that idea? <laughs> I was 16, and I was just like, kiss my ass, world, and my best <laughs> friend got it. <laughs> in Venice, no, in uh, San Diego, Mission Beach. I shouldn't even have gotten a tattoo. Yeah. Fake ID was strong. What about your worst tattoo? Danny. Me? Oh, um, I don't know. I got this radical dude tattoo, but I like that one. Kim's yelling carrot from the back. Oh, the carrot. Yeah, I Where'd got the this. the carrot come from? I got that in um, at, uh, X Games. Do we have any matching tattoos? Yeah, we have this one, I think. No? Oh, yeah, we have radical dude tattoos. Yeah. Cute. I like yeah, matching tattoos. We started a tattoos. club called the Radical Dude Club. You guys <laughs> can start the Radical Babe Club. Radical Babe. Punk Rock Babe Club? Sorry, maybe that wasn't fuck. <laughs> we literally started a club called the Radical Dude Club back in the day, and like seven people got them, and one girl got a Radical Babe tattoo. Sick. Fuck yeah. 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 Maybe like, we'll start it. It's just a club? Yeah, you start yeah. a tattoo, and you're in. Yeah, you're in. Okay. It's yeah. Like man club. Everyone get... Everyone get man club tatted on you. Oh, man club. That's a good man one. club. Yeah. So what we're started doing at, a, at our events, I don't think we've done them at any of the music festivals, but we now bring a tattoo artist and we just tattoo people at monster events the whole time. So people just get blasted when they come to our events now the whole time. Cool. Which are you guys going to have one at X games this year? Yeah. Look, look at the last one I got. <laughs> My face. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. genius. Oh my God. I, it looks you just like you. You two can get my face. You two can get my face. That's a real club. <laughs> All right, we're going to go down the line. Sketchiest thing you've done on tour? Ooh, oh. Probably eating mall sushi. Mall sushi? That's mall not that sushi. sketchy. I guess if you're in the middle of America, it is. Yeah. 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 I always think like if you're going to eat fish and you're in the middle of nowhere... Where the fuck did the fish come from? Mm. So I get that. Yeah. Mold, that's not the sketchiest thing you've done on tour. I know yeah. that. I can't think. So next. <laughs> next person. <laughs> next. Next. <laughs> um, probably just drove. Like, we played a show and we had to drive the whole night through, like, to Phoenix because we didn't have a hotel because we got, we got fucked. There was, there, we, like, we went there and there was no one in the uh, office, so we couldn't <laughs> go into our hotel. Yeah, I thought I was going to die in the, those last 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we slept in a snooze parking lot, like the breakfast place, for like three hours. Do you know yeah. the Walmart parking lots are great? They'll let yeah. you just hang out there. Yeah. I was I've spent place. many, many hours in Walmart parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Walmart. yeah. No, have you ever? I mean, it's, it's scary. I, like, we were fine. It is a we little scary. We drove like eight yeah. hours, but like the last 20 minutes, I was like, I was holding on. Do you guys ever had like any weird like somebody tried to like chase you down or some weird like four girls driving across? Oh the country? yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to Chicago and someone literally chased us. We like Chicago's yeah. sketchy. Oh, like yeah. in the like middle the, of Chicago's uh, okay. As soon as you go to the outskirts, 
We drove the bus there one year, and we went to the outskirts, um, and uh, I very quickly realized that we're, we, we were about to get robbed and shot and mugged, and half of us had no idea. So for us, we used to cruise around in our buses, in the bus, and it would be like kind of like you four, but it would be like six of us ratty little snowboarders. And uh, I, I remember driving through. Do you remember that? When we were driving to that theme park, mm. Chicago? And that's when I really realized that Chicago is fucking sketchy. No, I was sleeping. But one, I think one of the sketchiest things I did while we were in the bus was, you know, like those glow sticks where you like snap them and they glow? Mm -hmm. Well, I went to the, in the bathroom of this Winnebago and I cracked one open and I started like squirting it everywhere and it looked really cool. And then one of our friends was sleeping, our filmer, and I like got it on his face. <laughs> And then it got in his eye, and I, I thought I blinded him. And he woke up and was like, I can't see! And I was like, oh my god, I just blinded our filmer. But if you ever in the van and you're driving at night, you can hit the ceiling with it. It's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, just good try not to get it in your eye. What okay. are you girls eating? Like, is are you guys eating, like, Taco Bell? Are you guys eating, like, lollies, candy? Like, what are we eating? Yeah, we're eating so much Taco Bell. Like, we love Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Danny, give us Danny the used Taco, to Bell by Taco Bell. This Taco Bell, no shit. This is a real story. I have a theory that Danny hot got chicks sponsored do eat by Taco, Taco Bell. Bell, and they gave him like five thousand dollars in Taco Bell money, and we ate Taco Bell for like a whole year straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we love Taco that. Bell. What about like tortinos or anything like that? Frozen, weird, no. We just try to find raw oh, fish wherever uh, we go. Slim We're like looking for raw oh, fish. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Chloe and I eat a oh, lot yeah. of slim jims. There are these like, what are they? Dukes? They're like Duke sausage links. We love our weenie. They smell disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, but they're really good. They're really good. Dukes. Yeah. <laughs> Dukies. So, so in hotel rooms, you're mostly getting double beds. Is there? Do you, is there like? Is there like a group? Like you two sleep with each other, and you two sleep with each other, or does you move around? No, we, we, rotate. we rotate. We rotate. Or sometimes we push the beds together and have a mega bed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and we all cuddle. I love that. We all snuggle. We have to give each other eight hugs a day. Eight hugs a day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many have you done today? We're slacking. I don't think I've had any. Yeah, I really Aww. need one. Aww. <laughs> Aww. 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 Yay. Oh, we have some booties playing on there right now. <laughs> Where's this from? That's from Hotel Vegas in Austin. With Not the, like the babies. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's at the Lone Star party that we did because we love Lone Star. Oh, yeah, Bill won. Love Lone Star. There's so many PBRs or whatever. Yeah, PBRs in Vegas. What's a PBR? The uh, blue ribbon. Pops oh, blue, blue ribbon. ribbon. Yeah. Pops you guys drink ribbon. beer? Oh yeah. 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 I didn't know that people still. I like that. People still like beer. I didn't know that. I don't. I don't like beer either, I like actually. Beer. I think I'll drink a cider. It makes me fat, but I'm already fat. So it's and then those IPAs people are into. I'm Ugh. not into that. They don't look like IPA girls. Austin, you... like, really loves their beer. Like, oh, they do. It's like famous for it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, and it's like their own distilleries and breweries. Yeah. And... We played about... a, we've played breweries. It's what, awful. What about awful? <laughs> it's awful? <laughs> awful. Because of the crowd or the people there? Or? Yeah. It's so bad. And they smell breweries, I feel like. Mm, it's just... I can't. Beer stink. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. It's like playing a hotel. That's what I would imagine playing a hotel would be like. Yeah. Like a brewery in Austin. What about the food there? You guys have good, like, really good food. Yeah. The best. Yeah. Is there, like, a favorite place to eat in, in Austin? I love the place I work at. What? They feed me every day. I like that. What's that place? Kome. Kome? <laughs> Come to Kome. <laughs> I love it. It's really good. Do you guys have a ritual before you go on stage? Is there like a, like a little powwow to like... Yeah, we listen to Charlie XCX aggressively, <laughs> and then we walk onto it. This is, and we, is that your walkout yeah. song? Um, Not always, recently. but uh, recently. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Brittany, did you ever have a walkout song? To do what? Hold oh, the to card. <laughs> yeah, the opening credits for UFC. <laughs> I'm trying. What do you here. guys? What do you guys think? Uh, like, what's your favorite part about touring, and then what's your least favorite part? Um, favorite part is like there's actually not a single better feeling than playing for like people that know your music and know you, and then they're just like feeling the energy. 
-hmm. Like, I don't know. It's just like a, just, there's literally nothing better. There's nothing it's a better. high, right? They yes. Like a high. Yes. But the worst is probably just like not having alone time and being like terrible sleep all the time. Like not eating yeah. enough. Getting sick. Yeah. I always get sick. Yeah. Well, you're around so many people. And then you have, are you, do you guys do? And you're like spitting on each other. So it's right. like, <laughs> crowd surfing. Yeah. I mean, it's a thing. You're yeah. Really <laughs> I always get sick and I'm like, oh my God, why? But I'm like on the fucking bar ground. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <and> like <laughs> jumping on people. Licking the stage. Or like, this is weird. Yeah, and I'm like, no, oh the microphones God, that so you weird. share, and like everybody's just like sweat and spit on it. And then you go up and you're just like, oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's really bad. Who are your guys as heroes in the in like the punk rock world? You, I'm not punk rock. <laughs> Britney, but I appreciate that. Uh, Britney Spears. Br Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she fucking lost today. No. She's, she's finally she's got it. Rock and roll. <laughs> she's rock and no. roll. She's yeah. She is punk rock. She really Have you is. seen her Instagram? Oh yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. What was <laughs> the more I watch, the less I understand. I yeah. love it. Yeah. The knife thing that went really big too. She, the knife? everything where yeah. she was like it was a real like samurai. Was it not real knives? Those had to be. It was real for life. Halloween. She said, and she showed them. You got to listen to her audio book. Mm -hmm, that's what we. I love that she band. just had that whole thing at um. What was it at the uh, in L.A. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Chateau Marmont. She had a like, party? No, she had like she had a new freak out at Chateau Marmont. But the thing is that Chateau Marmont is just like notorious for just debaucherous behavior. And the fact that that was her like last big breakdown was at the Chateau. I mean, that's where Led Zeppelin took motorcycles down to the side of the Somebody died there. Somebody um Yeah. Joe Pesci? Joe Pesci died. Joe Pesci. Is it was it Joe Pesci? I hope so. Because that would be terrible Whoa. if we got that wrong. Well, no, but I'm just saying, if, we, if what if he's alive and we just said that? Yeah. <laughs> we need to Google that. When you guys went to L.A. or go to L.A., like, was there, like, a place that you wanted to go check out? Like, obviously, like, it's pretty, Hollywood has some pretty iconic bars or places. Did you guys go to, like, the Whiskey A Go-Go or any of those clubs? Mm -hmm. Roxy? No? I do mm -hmm. want to go to the Whiskey, but... Whiskey sick. We didn't, we, didn't really, we didn't have time. Yeah, tour is kind of just like you go to a city and then you play and like, especially when you guys vanning it. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah, have a like, bus, it's easier, but we don't have you're a in the van. You're the van life. Do you have a like, I, I guess it kind of feels like you're not, you're, you're, you're in a different city every day, but it almost feels like you're in the same place. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like uh, Groundhog Day. Yeah. You're like, new club. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh my god, it must be cool. You've like seen so many cities. And I'm like, yeah, I've seen them, but it's like through like blurry, hungover eyes, and it's for like two hours at a time. And yeah. Then like in the venue, sound checking. And then, yeah. Yeah. When do you guys plan on writing new music, or do you do that while you're on tour? We have, yeah, some stuff mm -hmm. ready. We have some stuff. Yep. When do you when when it when will you like know that that's going to be ready to be performed or you want to like debut it? Would you ever just play it in front of an audience and see how they react and that could push you forward to record it? Yeah, usually we we try to test those yeah, yeah. Like the waters with the crowd see mm -hmm. cuz we're like I mean we were a live band before right. we we're still like not very good at <laughs> Spotify and like all that stuff quite yet. So definitely like showing other people first is a big step in figuring out if it's worth recording. Mhm. Mm yeah, and how do you know that they love it? They just rage to it. You can yeah, just you tell, just feel you the feel energy. Their, yeah. You can you can tell when a crowd's like, mm -hmm. meh. But there is. We did record um, a song that I wrote that's like really different than like kind of anything that we've done. That was something that I was like, I don't even want to show the crowd. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna see like, and we played it live. But you know what I mean? Like, there 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 are exceptions mm -hmm. to things. Are there songs that you guys have made that you're like, shit, like this song, we're just not going to play it live, but it's it's a song that you like, but it's just not going to work on stage? No, we kind of just go for it. Like, our set is kind of all over the place. That's why I like don't like being called a punk band necessarily, because we, we have an acoustic song. We have a very metal song. We have very different, like, influences. I never want to be in a box of, like, we're just a punk band, which they're going to call us forever. We're going to be an all-girl punk band forever, which is fucked oh. up, but... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's a label, but I guess, I guess it's it's you're not no one's really doing what your girls are doing. So and and the fact that you do push the different genres, um, I think it's it's very smart and like you're not 
you know, what do you girls think of like pop music? Oh, oh love, 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 love music. pop music. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter, we love you. <laughs> we want to go on tour with her. We just realized like this tour, we were like sitting there like this, you know, like Black Sabbath and Tidal Fight for so long. And then like a pop song came on in a bar and we were like, oh, this is good. <laughs> this is like mindless music. Mm -hmm. I, can no, I hate it. my pop eyes music. go different ways and listen, you know? Pop can be, I don't know, pop is so good. Like even like, I grew up on like Prince. Yeah. And Madonna. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Bowie. And we just are like, if it's good music, it's good music. I don't know. I hate yeah. being like, I only listen to this genre. Like, Fucking okay, you're not a real musician then probably. You probably don't like, stick to one genre. What, what do you think about this? Uh, and obviously you're in Texas, Texas, so you're around it, but this new, not new, but how like country's kind of become more mainstream. Do you girls like country? Is there country singers? Oh, I love old country. We're we're, we're from Texas, so like yeah. Willie Nelson. And, well, yeah, and yeah, I don't like like yeah. the new like country <laughs> stuff, but like, like Willie Nelson. I just saw him. I saw him at Stagecoach. Yeah. yeah. Snoop Dogg came out with him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg's I everywhere. Love him. I they love like him. roll me up and smoke me when I die. Yeah. They played it. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you sing it? That was cool. No. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cake is She nearly took the bait. <laughs> yeah. I was singing a little bit. I sing it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was just Yeah. You girls are gonna start getting ready for a show soon. Yep. Um, like real soon. Uh, oh, that's your set today. 435. So what are you guys gonna do after this to get prepared? Um pee. get something to eat. I need to pee. Pee. I I I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> No, I feel like you can say that. <laughs> you gotta take a shit. No, no. <laughs> sometimes like <laughs> Is it a I have to pee before I get on the stage. Otherwise, it will be bad, and I, it's proven to be bad before. Oh, <laughs> that does really? like tinkle a little that's bit. Where, <laughs> that's <laughs> where the right. song the comes thing. from. That's okay, now we're getting a little background into on the this. Core of the onion. Yeah. What so about what? like eating? Is there like, can you eat when you play, or do you want to go like? No, no. Not not really. one time we had Lipstick sushi. And cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, like, her work gave us so much free sushi, and I was so worried I was gonna throw up, like projectile vomit everywhere. It was really bad. Don't eat a bunch lesson. of raw fish. Yeah, don't eat a bunch of raw fish before yeah. a show, especially actually, like mall fish. Well, yeah. it wasn't. It was good. Fish. <laughs> it was good fish. I'll give her that. But yeah. But yes, don't don't eat mall poke you before have, you're you're gonna play a show in like a go. fucking tiny venue. That's super hot. You you will yeah you suffer the consequences. Bad. Are you girls partying while you're performing? Like you like drinking or? Uh, sometimes <laughs> you said party. <laughs> party. Yeah, we party. do party. Oh, party. Yes. Yes. I said party. Sometimes. I mean, I feel like you girls are pottying, pottying on stage. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little tinkle up there. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when it's just hot enough, the, there will be a little tinkle. It'll, it'll come out. So Ozzy Osbourne used to have, he has like a small bladder, I guess, and he used to have a bucket <laughs> on stage. Yeah. And during his sets, he would go and piss away. But he would also yeah. dunk his head in the same bucket. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. But I think before he peed in it. Oh. He got his buckets mixed up. Yeah. I hope not. I need to get buckets <laughs> like that. Like a piss bucket? Um, no, not piss like I, I'm good at holding my pee, um, just like for my hair, like if I need like, like, I like cool off. I get like a tomato after a show. We need, do you we go need red? Of, oh, I go so red. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm, I'm moving, you know, and I just get really, yeah, it's really bad. And then I have to like run off stage because like, I just look like a tomato. Like, have you oh. seen the stages yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Do you know where you're going to climb? <laughs> Maybe. You your route? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I really like that. You'll you have to come see it. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, we're coming. Yeah. You're coming? You're coming? Fuck, fuck yeah. Yay. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> okay, okay. Danny's going to okay. Danny's gonna mosh fit. I'm pretty good at moshing. Yeah. Yay. Sick. I like better getting be pushed around a little bit. Good. He loves getting pushed around. <laughs> What's your favorite punk show you've ever been to? Um, phew, I mean, my first like CD was like Dead Kennedy. So I grew up like super skate rat, right? So like all that kind of, um, I mean, I went to a social distortion show actually here in Vegas years ago. That was a really fun one. Cause it was like kind of a fun crowd, uh, of slam dancing. I think one of the scariest mosh pits I was in was a uh, hate breed or hate breeder with like lamb of God. That was pretty wild. So do you guys know what lamb of God is? 
Mm-hmm. No, I do. There's yeah. that sick new world, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't they like throw blood off the stage? Is that Lamb of God? Um, no, that's Guar. Guar. You're thinking of Guar. <laughs> I've never been to a Guar show. Uh, but obviously, I mean, huge no effects fan growing up. That's like one of my favorite all time bands that I like to hurt myself on my skateboard too. They were tied again. <laughs> and they were like really fun live. They like kind of like tell jokes and make fun of the crowd, which is kind of cool. Do you ever address the crowd and kind of? Yeah, when we first started, I used to throw apples and mustard packets at the crew. You would throw mustard at people? No, like packets. They were bad. Oh, you they were being it? bad. I feel like. Oh, being bad. You just like had mustard Stop packets it. on deck? Um, yeah, my purse. Like I have to keep like random things in there. What do you got in there right now? Um, sometimes I have biscuits in there. I'd love because I love, I love biscuits. A biscuit right now. Biscuits, yeah. And honey packets or what? Um, no, I just like raw dog it, um, some biscuits, which I would like, I would rather have that, but that's a, yeah, I keep a lot. I have a r- raccoon tooth in my bag too. What's a raccoon, a, a real raccoon tooth? Yeah. Where, where's the raccoon come from? Um, I don't know the earth. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah <laughs> I think out. that's where it was yeah, from. Yeah, 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 fuck. And I found it, but yeah. Have you guys ever had like a pet on the road? We want to. I have a doggy. And she's deaf, so she can come to shows. Aww. Yeah. And she knows sign language. Little deaf dog. And she's perfect. Like you guys still, you, so you say you work at, do you still work your other jobs as well? Yeah. Yes. And it's pretty, like, they just give you time to go tour, and they know that they have rock stars that are I've been fired from a lot of jobs because of tour. Yeah. But I'm, like, really good at writing a resume now. <laughs> right. It's, like, on tour, I'm writing a resume and like sending it to different places. What's so. on your resume? It's just like all the things that I've worked before. And yeah. then I'm like, I quit. I wasn't fired. What's your worst job you've ever had? Ava was a farmer. I loved it, though. I, I did I did job. scoop goat shit for a long time. Yeah. But I kind of liked it. I don't know. I was outside. You're outside. You kind of worked yourself. at this. I worked at this smoothie place that really sucked. It was just a bad environment. Yeah. And like it was like cold. Like like, oh, hands. back there, was, oh, yo, the actual job itself was cold. Yeah, like it was like my like hands like, were time. really cold. Right. I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was fine. But. What, when you go in for a new job, do you tell them you're in a band or you kind of like yeah, you break the news to. to them like a week later? I don't tell before, them. No. Well, it depends if it will help or hurt you. Yeah, I feel like it would almost hinder getting the job. And then you're like, all right, well, now deal like with I it. Like I applied to this coffee job that like no one ever gets hired at, but they're really cool and they like have a record player and all this cool stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm in a band. Like, you should hire me. And it worked. And then it was hard, so I left. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like it is hard making some of those fancy coffees. No, it is. I worked at Graves, so I I worked from, like, 12 to 6 a.m. That was difficult. And I was in school, so I just, I quit. People take coffee really serious. Yeah. Like, really serious. Yeah, we watched a documentary on it, like a two-hour documentary that was our part of the hiring process. Really? So you learned all about the beans? Yes. So yeah. beans. you're beans. a barista? I was. You was? I was. When you guys... So you get the jobs, <laughs> and then you're just on the road. You tell the job, you're not, you're not coming back? I mean, resume, like, oh, we had this one for six weeks. I had this job for three weeks. I had this job for a month. <laughs> my, my job was great. They are just like... Yeah, just come back. And I'm like, yeah, I okay. think you just have to like make friends at your job and like yeah. be personable and then they'll want you to come back. Put them on like a guest list for a show. Yeah, yeah that'll that do it. Shit. The guest list always works. Yeah. Do you guys have a rider? Yes. What's on it? Um, a- apples and peanut butter. <laughs> baby food. <laughs> baby food. <laughs> yeah. Baby food. Teethers. And tequila. <laughs> I like and a nice white tequila. wine. tequila. Oh, yeah, Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, yeah. We get there. nice cheeses. <coughs> Not nice, but, like, you know, A cheese. baguette. We get nice cheese, and then we open it, and then leave it out during the set, like and then we get back in our green room. It smells like feet. It's mm-hmm. awful. Does the van smell like feet? <laughs> the van <laughs> smells <laughs> like something way worse than feet. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say, on the record, it's John Belushi who passed. At, cool, at yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I think Joe Pesci's still alive. He is. Yeah. So, on... <laughs> I had to get that out. I was like, oh, no. Like watching I'm going to no. get I'm gonna hear yeah. it for that. I was Sorry. just rolling with you. He's I in know, the chat. He's level. in the chat right yeah. now. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, guys, yeah. I'm alive still well, alive. Kids. 
Girls, are you amped to play the show? Punk Rock Bowling Fest today. Yeah. 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 Which set's going to be more fire, the first or the second one? The second. First, probably. First, I hope. Yeah. All right. Wait, Thank wait. You oh, never mind. You good, Britt? Yep. Thank you so much for joining in, Dice Bates. Thank you so much for being part of Monster Energy. You girls rule. Thank, thank you, you Monster. Thank, thank you, Monster. Thank you, Monster. Thanks Punk for having us. We love Rock you, Monster. Punk Rock Bowling, Las Vegas. Let's go. Thank you, Punk Rock Bowling. I love Monster.